Okay, uh, the first question is, uh, Google Maps is, a, is basically a volunteer effort. A lot of the data that is put on there is a volunteer effort. So how do you take care of quality control, oversight, how do you take care of duplication? So, so in India, it's a volunteer effort. Okay. In other countries, different mechanisms. But in a lot of countries, it's a volunteer effort. And there's actually, um, it, I don't know all the details because it's built by our team in Bangalore phenomenal engineers, but they have a whole system of spam detection, mm -hmm. like automatic spam detection, but also community measures where one person can say, no, no, this is not true, mm -hmm. and then if that person has built up a reputation, then we take them seriously, and, and so on. It's a, it's a very tricky thing, but it's similar to other things like Wikipedia, right. where it's also a volunteer effort. And the the community. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you look at countries like in, in Australia, for example, where I live, uh, the maps there, we get from a commercial company that does nothing else. And they have mistakes too. Not because people are, you know, volunteers and they do things wrong, but just because it's a it's a difficult question to map a country. So, and it's really high quality in India. It's very impressive. What do you do about duplication? Because so uh, before coming in over here... You need to be a little louder. A little louder. Yeah. Uh, before coming in over here, I had a, I searched for IIT Bombay on the map, yeah. and I saw three results, <laughs> yeah, more right. or less in the same, the same yes. area. But yes. yeah. so, yeah. do you so, have any? So yeah, that? no, they they try figuring it out, but it clearly doesn't always work. And I imagine that there was probably ten originally, and we filtered out seven of them, but we missed two, and so we'll get better little by little. Uh, last week, IBM uh, announced Project Vulcan, which uh, which a lot of people have been calling a competitor to Google Wave. So, what are your opinions? Where, uh, like, in circumstances where people are coming up with a different protocol, not just a different thing on Wave itself? Well, um, so I haven't looked closely at uh, at Vulcan, but I did hear that it, it's similar. And so, what I think is this: I mean, obviously, people can do anything they want and, and I imagine IBM was working on Vulcan before we even started talking about Wave. What I hope we can do over time, if they really are similar, that we can agree on a single protocol so that we we can compete but still our users can talk to each other. Okay. Just like an email, right? we compete, there's Yahoo Mail, there's Hotmail, IBM has a mail solution but our users can talk to them. Have you started talking to IBM yet? We, 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 we reached out to them, but we were already talking to them before Vulcan. I mean, IBM is a big company, right. you know, and so we can be talking to people over here, but the Vulcan is happening over here, so, but yeah, we are we're talking to them. Um, Nokia is very big in India. Okay. Uh, they have this thing called Nokia Maps Navigator, which they've just made free. Okay. Uh, one of the one of the points about Nokia Maps Navigator is that it, it can work offline. It gives you step by step directions, yeah. like, like very similar to Google uh, Google Maps Navigator on the Android. Yep. So uh, Google that that the Google product works only in USA and it requires a data connection, whereas uh, the Nokia product works across the globe and it can work offline. So what are your thoughts on that? So I haven't tried it, but I, you know, I, I hope we can compare in the long run, even if not in the short run. Uh, one, of the, one of the big complaints about Google Wave is that, uh, unlike an email, you don't have a blind option, a BCC option. So yes. Are there any plans of putting such a thing in? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah, we. There's a. There's actually two missing things in in Wave. One is the BCC option. What is the equivalent of forwarding? Like a lot of time, you forward something. Where in Wave, it's much more convenient just to add them to the Wave. But there is sometimes you forward it, like you send me mail. I forward it to him because I want to discuss what you said without you being able to see it. It's kind of similar to BCC, even though in this case, the message started from from you. And so those two cases we don't handle yet, and we have some designs that we think will do that. But it's not. It's not super high on our list of priorities. It's not the thing that we get the most complaints about. Okay. Uh, my last question is: You were an entrepreneur before you joined, before you came into Google. So, how has life been like after after you joined Google? Because a lot of people work for a while and then move into entrepreneurship, and you've done the you've done it the other yeah, way around. So, what has yes. life at Google been like? Um, well, very entrepreneurial. <laughs> it's uh, what I love about Google is that they let you be an entrepreneur inside of Google. And I tried to illustrate this with the story of the 
with this, this, and just make the startup that I'm running inside of Google. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Excuse me. It's kind of the best of both worlds. We get to have the autonomy, we get to have all the freedom and the playfulness of a startup, but I don't have to worry about running out of payroll. I don't have to spend my time talking to investors. You know, I don't have to, uh, like all the support staff you have to build when you build your own company, Google just supplies that. And, and so we get to spend all our time on the technology. And you know, you, we don't make as much money as if you started your own company and you sold it for a billion dollars, but it's, you know, it's much better this way, I think. That, that's so really when your company came in the form of Google Maps, so how was the uh, integration process? So you were completely in charge? Well, so in the beginning, we were just like six people when we launched Google Maps and it was just a little team. It was very similar to when we were a startup, except we had resources. Um, and, but then it grew and actually Google Maps today came from, uh, from, from my company, it came from some technology that Google had already called local search. Um, all the satellite images that people love came from uh, a different team that does Google Earth. And so all of these teams uh, merged together and it's become a very big part of Google now called Geo. And, and you know, I was just a I believe team. that's why you were able to move out as soon as 2006. Exactly. Exactly. Like, like you know, when, when we left, and you can see that on the, when, you, when you look at the success of Google Maps, uh, like most of the people that use it saw it first time after I had actually left the team already, because there was all these incredible people uh, that were running it that came from these other teams. Any other questions? Uh, no. Thank you, Dr. Lars.